Okay, last passage of this test. This whole test has been quite difficult. Hopefully reading three won't be so bad. The benefits of being bilingual. What does bilingual mean? Bi in English means, uh, very often it means two. For example, bicycle is something with two wheels. Lingual is uh, an adjective for um, language. So you can see bilingual here. Multilingual means many languages. Multi is a prefix which means many. But if you didn't understand what this meant, they gave you the definition over here. Bilingual means speaking two languages. Multilingual means speaking more languages, many languages. Right, immediately let's go to our question types. When you see this in reading three, you should be quite happy. Usually it's a slightly easier question type. Just check, no more than two words, so we're going to have one or two words. And immediately we start looking for our keywords. Always check these, the headings. In this test, they you don't really see them, but very often these are scanning words. That's a clear scanning word. Check through to see any numbers or names or capital letters only there, but that's going to be a clear scanning word and anything else. Yes, we'll look for objects. In this one, it's quite difficult. I would probably look for that. But then this is super important. I'm going to talk quite a lot about these today. This not only for this reading passage in many, many reading passages when they say something is known as it means they are giving you a new word and often they give you the definition for that word and that is almost always important information they love to ask questions from these new words that they introduce it's words that even native speakers won't know they are technical words so please notice these over here again it's another way of saying known as there are many ways of saying known as uh, there's called known as termed and a couple of others, a couple of ways using punctuation. We will come across all of these in this course. And of course, that's going to be quite a clear keyword. This one may be that uh, tasks. And I like this. It's it's going to be there. It won't be exactly this, uh, but it'll be a paraphrase of better or something. And then, um, of course, there's another one of those tasks again. But also, I like switching, something about switching or changing. We see it again here, changing. And let's go with superior. Superior means better. All right, but let's immediately find Russian English first. A quick scan will show that it is there. What's next? Objects simultaneously known as. Be careful with reading three. three. They want to make it a bit more difficult. Usually we would start scanning after here, but actually I would like to scan a bit before as well. Scan the whole paragraph. For example, simultaneously is actually up there. So it's reading three. They try to make it a bit more difficult. What else are we looking for? We're looking for known as. Can anybody see it? There it is over there. So that. Please also notice these two things. These are called inverted commas. It shows you they're introducing a new word, a word that is a technical word. Native English speakers do not know this term. And IELTS loves asking questions about those. What else were we scanning for simultaneously known as? All right, let's find colors. Uh, actually, I also see objects over there. We were looking for objects too. Can you see colors? I think that's the first time I see it, but then after that, it's there, it's everywhere. Color, 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 and they name colors red, blue, so we know we're somewhere over there. That's enough for now. Something called, we can come back to that, I didn't see it. More able, tasks, skill. There's tasks there, but we were looking for tasks there as well. I see switching. I just noticed switching over here. So that might help us. That means this is somewhere before that. More able task skill. Perhaps there. Better 
is more able and tasks as you can see if you can scan quickly if you can find them then the answers are easy with this question type changing bilingual people superior is the last one we're probably not going into paragraph d i think superior might be there more quickly maybe better again all right so that's enough for now i'm quite sure it's just a uh, paragraph b and c okay if we look at the grammar you'll see that it's actually all all nouns uh, and we can't even see if it's single or plural so all of these yes they're nouns there's an adjective so this is a noun but whether they're single or plural or countable or uncountable there's nothing to tell us observing the something of russian english bilingual people when asked to select certain objects and they've done it a little bit before can you see anything about observing there it is over there we should possibly should have highlighted observing so what are we observing what are we studying our movements right next uh, we know it simultaneously we i'm quite confident about this one already because i saw that known as check anywhere else in the paragraph do you see any other known as i don't really see it i like this it's in the same sentence as the other one which is in the same line in the table so i'm quite happy to go with that term over there language co-activation the big clue was this word here right next a test called the something focusing on naming colors so we are in this paragraph because we know that we're looking for colors but we're looking for the name of the test in this one they don't use known as or called or anything like that they actually just use capital letters to show that it's the name of something so that's another way of introducing a new term no native speaker knows what the stroop task is but because it has capital letters i know that it's the name of something it's the name of this test right then this one actually is very difficult i struggled to find this i'm looking for called i'm looking for skill tasks and i'm looking for more able again it's before this one so they've made it a bit more difficult the closest thing that i can see is they perform better on tasks they are more able to handle tasks and then there's nothing about skill and called and that's what makes it quite difficult and i'll scan 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 there's, there's nothing about skill and called so i'm going to have to guess a little bit i'm going to go with better on tasks more able to handle tasks and then this is the the noun phrase that i'm looking for so this one was very difficult don't worry if you didn't get that one it it actually took me quite a few minutes to find it finally changing and switching superior bilingual have when they change their strategy bilingual have superior something bilinguals are better at switching between two tasks but what do they have better they do so more quickly reflecting means showing and there's your superior cognitive control is your answer i think the clue there was just to know that superior means better and there's the two betters but this is the only one that has a noun after it okay so it look it was a reading three so this is going to be a bit more difficult table than 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 a reading one um the main thing that they did to confuse you was that sometimes you had to go back it wasn't exactly in order this is before this in the text the other thing that they did to confuse you is these known as and called they only really gave you that one in the text they used called that one was not there because they used capital letters to show that it was a name and this one completely just wasn't there this one was very difficult also for this one you had to go back a little bit so i think if you can get four out of five here then you've done very well okay yes no not given of course please notice yes no not true false if you write true false it's possible that they can mark it wrong so first thing we do scan find where these come from 
my tip here is to scan for 32 and then to scan for 36 then you know where more or less where these will be so we're looking for attitudes and maybe recent years then after that we're going to go down and find something about brain disease and old age when you get these it'll be easier to get the ones in the middle we haven't used this paragraph yet so you should probably look at it now in recent years is a good thing to scan for not those words but scan for the paraphrase they will paraphrase that but the paraphrase will not be difficult for you to understand so you will be able to find it i don't see anything i don't see attitudes the, the actual word but i do see this and that's in recent years please notice the however can you see the attitudes considered probably is the closest thing to attitudes were considered right so i'm quite happy with that that's our first one now we want to go and try and find something about brain disease and old age so i would actually start at the bottom here and uh, go upwards this is about babies young people infants and there is something about old age end of the first sentence it's probably the most important part of any paragraph end of the first sentence older let's just see if we can find brain disease yes there it is okay good so now we know that these three are between those other two let's find the other keywords bilingual monolingual no guessing words before they are finished i think something like that images images another word for pictures single sounds and then it's just a matter of scanning it's not easy scanning but this is about words this is about pictures this is about sounds we use these so maybe it's a good idea to start scanning here you can come back and scan there but maybe start here first and i see sounds there sound there what else we're looking for so sounds is there that's quite interesting so we maybe images and words come before that let's just check this paragraph i don't see anything so we're looking for images i'm just going to clear this we're looking for images and words words is there so there's a lot about words in that paragraph that one's probably from there so we need to find something about pictures here there's pictures there this was all about color and IELTS has already asked from this section so I would be focusing more on this part over here right then what are our circle words all right so with number 32 the circle word is going to be, the circle phrase is going to be these words over here um, have changed i'm just going to go to cork if you remember in this reading with the true false not given the circle words were over here have they developed it or have they not developed it so this is called present perfect and IELTS sometimes with yes no not given or true false not given will test on the present perfect in a in a in a question has it happened has it not happened or or do we not know so for our first one there's nothing else really here our circle word is going to be this has it changed or has it not changed for the next one there is the comparative i'll go back to cork again one more time they use these uh, ESTER or more and most quite a lot um, for true, false, not given, yes, no, not given questions. So our circle words is going to be, are they better, are they not better, or don't we know? For this one, once again, number 34, there is a comparative over there, an ER word. But I also want you to notice this, often in true, false, not given, yes, no, not given, they can work with the adverbs consistently means all of the time similar to always is it consistent or is it only some of the time so i'm going to circle that as well number 35 again there are two possible circle words another adverb comparative adverb can you see it more efficiently less efficiently don't we know but there's another very important word it's a small adverb 
they can test all. Is it in all situations? Some situations, no, none of the situations. Then finally, in our last one, again, another comparative and ER word. Is it fewer? Is it more? Don't we know? Right, so let's go and look at our first one. Have the attitudes changed in recent years or have they not changed? We highlighted this however, so let's look what they said before the however. In the past, children were to be at a disadvantage. They were considered, they were thought, attitudes were that they were at a disadvantage. However, recently, over the past few years, this is all supporting language and therefore they have found benefits, advantages. So basically this whole thing just says before they had disadvantages, however, today they are seen to have benefits. So yes, that means attitudes have changed. So we can fill in yes over there. Not too difficult to start. Next, are they better than the monolingual? Mono means one. So it's people who speak one language, people who speak two languages. Are the people who speak two languages better at guessing these words? Are they better, not better, or don't we know? Words before they are finished is important here, just to help us. We should have probably picked it up when we scanned. It's over there. This is a difficult one. A very important thing to notice is this word here, we. We means everybody, all of us. So it includes bilingual and monolingual. Again there. Another thing is that I don't see the word mono monolingual anywhere. They are just saying that we guess what the word might be. I don't see anywhere where it's saying bilingual people do this better than monolingual people. I don't see better. So I'll probably come back to that, but I think that's not given just because I don't see it. And you need to go pretty fast. At this stage, you're running out of time. It's the end of the test. So we'll skip that, come back to it. Do they name images faster than monolingual people consistently? There's pictures. We're looking for something faster and I see more slowly. Speakers can name pictures more slowly. Knowing more than one language can cause speakers. So this is bilingual people name the pictures more slowly. So that means that is no, because the question says faster. So it, it wasn't really consistently. It's faster compared to more slowly. Another comparative. They produce, they process single sounds more efficiently in all situations. Monolingual, bilingual, there's your single sounds. When they do that, they show very similar brain. So they are the same. So we're actually comparing similar with a comparative more efficiently. They go on to say that when there is background noise, then the bilinguals are faster. But when there is single sounds, they are highly similar. So that one must be no, because it's not more efficiently, it's the same. Then, do fewer people suffer, more people, or we don't know? And we're in our sentence over here, a brain disease. And what they've focused on is when the people get this disease. They don't say anything about how many of the people get this disease. Don't be fooled by this. This is just how many people they studied. They don't say how many, fewer, more, or many. So that means this must be not given. If they had said something about earlier or later, then yes, then it's a yes or a no. But this is, but for this one, they said they spoke about few and many. So that one's not given. And this one was a tricky one, but I don't see anything about monolinguals and I don't see anything about them being better. Here, they're speaking about all of us, so they're not comparing monolinguals and bilinguals, so I would go with not given there. I don't see the word monolingual in that paragraph. So not given for 33. Right, let's move on to the last section. Okay, let's do these matching information questions. At this stage of the test, it's the last questions. It's reading three. It's a difficult question type. You're going to go quite quickly. Maybe you don't have so much time. So don't be afraid to guess. 
I'll just show you quickly how you should do it. First, you're going to find the keywords that you know that you're looking for. But actually, they aren't keywords because they're going to paraphrase these. Anyway, let's look at each one. In this first one, all of this, they it's through the whole test. This is the certain type of nonverbal auditory input is the important information in that question. Next is benefits even before we learn to speak. The process people identify words that they hear and some negative consequences. So then you're kind of going to go through the whole thing. You've got these things in your head and almost like matching headings, you try and give a topic to the paragraph. It will help you with a few of these. This first paragraph, as we saw earlier, it's just a contrast paragraph with a however in the middle about the changes. There was nothing about that. This next paragraph is interesting because it's got the word words almost everywhere. You should look at the first sentence as well. This is something about active at the same time. You should highlight that. So this is about recognizing words, this whole paragraph. We know that because we see repetition of this word words. And there it is right over there. And at this stage, we're not we're half half doing it and half guessing. So that's close enough for me. You can go with that one. Paragraph B. The next thing is this big paragraph. Yes, they're talking about pictures. And of course, this word color is everywhere. But I don't see anything about color in the questions. Of course, remember, you must look at the first sentence of the paragraph when you're trying to get the topic of a paragraph. And there we see our very important friend once again, however. That however, it can be here as well. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't change the meaning. We can put however at the beginning or at the end. So what is the however referring to? It's this important sentence here. What's the most important word in that sentence? It's this word over here difficulties, problems, and I remember we had something about that, negative consequences. So just from the first sentence of that, you can see that that is paragraph C. Right, what else are we looking for? Certain type of nonverbal auditory input, difficult vocabulary, and benefits even before we learn to speak. A good idea um, is to go to this paragraph because we haven't used that paragraph yet, so there's a good chance that IELTS will want to use it, this paragraph as well. So let's look at those two. Maybe you could have started with those two. In this paragraph, they're talking about some kind of advantage, but I don't see anything here about an advantage. So this paragraph is about this advantage, focusing on information, but I don't see anything about that in the questions. This one is very interesting because this, as we remember, we're talking about uh, children. We saw that earlier. And in the questions, even before we learn to speak means even when we are very young. So this paragraph F was talking about older people and this one is talking about children. So it's a very good chance that this one is G, even before we are very young. Then this one is probably the most difficult mainly because of the vocabulary, a certain type of nonverbal auditory input. Nonverbal means not spoken. Auditory means in the ears. So it's some kind of sound that we get, that we hear, and it's not a spoken sound. We know that this paragraph is talking about sounds. That sound means auditory input. It's a difficult paraphrase for auditor for sound. It's the same thing. Here they talk about speech. We're looking for nonverbal. So speech is verbal. It's a synonym for verbal. So it's not this. But again, we see our good friend there. And that, however, is talking about background noise. So noise is auditory input. Background means it's nonverbal. It's not spoken. So that 
that word there, that phrase there gives you the paragraph. Again, the however gives you the paragraph, gives you the answer. And there you go. That's the end of reading three. The next video is a very important video. Please watch it. I'm going to revise all of the last six readings that we have done.